Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Cyberlab Mega Bezel Death 2 Pixels Shader Preset Pack. In my opinion, this is hands down the best CRT shaders you can get for RetroArch. So before I get to the bit where I show you how to install it, please take a second to support the channel by subscribing. And here's a quick showcase of what you can expect from the Cyberlab Mega Bezel Death to Pixels shaders. Okay, so there's three links you need to open because there's three files we need to download. So go to the description of this video and open up those three links and follow along with me. So the first link is retroarch.com. So we just want to make sure we've got the latest version of Retroarch downloaded. So we go to get Retroarch, download stable, and we just wait for that to download. Next, we want to go to the Mega Bezel website. So in order to use the Cyberlab shaders, we need to download and install Mega Bezel. So we scroll partway down the page and go to shader package approx 12 megabytes. So we click that to download, and this is the latest version of Mega Bezel we want to download. Click that and wait for it to download. And the third link is the actual Cyberlab homepage. So we scroll down until we get to this portion here. We just click this link to download the Cyberlab uh, shaders. And then we click download again. So in your download folder, you should find three files. So one is RetroArch, one is Mega Bezel, and one is Cyberlab. And at this point, it's safe to close your web browser. Right, so the first step is to install RetroArch, and then next we simply extract the other two downloads into their own folders. Great, so we should have three folders, so I'm going to delete the original downloads. First step is just to make sure RetroArch works. So if we go down, go to RetroArch EXE, let's just check that's all working. Great, it seems to work. So I'm going to close that and then go back to Mega Bezel. Great, so what we want to do is, with this mega underscore bezel folder, just cut that into memory, go back to your RetroArch folder, and then go down to shaders, and then shaders underscore slang, and then bezel, where is bezel? Nope, there's no bezel folder, so we are going to make the bezel folder B C L, and then within the bezel folder, we can just paste the mega bezel folder. So let me just open that up, double check. Yep, there we go. Great. And now open up RetroArch because there's some configuration we need to do in here. So firstly, we go to settings and drivers and under video, we want to change this to Vulkan. And then we go back to settings and go to user interface, show advanced settings, and we switch that to on. And then we go back to settings and video and scaling and with aspect ratio we change this to full we go back and we go back to video and scaling again and we change integer scale to on and then we go back and we go to output and we just make sure video rotation is set to normal and we go back we go down to core and we go to allow auto rotation and switch this to off. And that is pretty much that for now. Great, so go back to your folder where the three downloads are and we just wanna to go to the Cyberlab folder. And what you wanna do is cut the Cyberlab folder into memory and go back to RetroArch and go down to shaders and make a new folder here and call it mega underscore bezel underscore packs and open it and then paste the folder that we cut. So there we go. We've got a nice folder for all the Cyberlab shaders. 
So if you go into it, you'll see a whole bunch of CyberLab shaders. If you go through all the documentation on the CyberLab website and the Mega Bezel website, you'll see there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do, but what I'm showing you today is just the bare minimum. Anything beyond this is down to you to experiment with, which I encourage. So now go back to RetroArch. So once you're in RetroArch, just go to Online Updater and Core Downloader, and then just download the core to whichever system uh, you wanna be using. So in this example, I'm gonna go down to Sega and I'm going to download say Blastem and now that's installed it will allow me to play a Sega game. Great so now I've got Sonic the Hedgehog loaded if I just press F1 and go down to shaders and then go down to load mega bezel packs cyber lab and then just pick uh, one of the shaders in one of these folders so i'm going to go to advanced full reflections 4k optimized presets and here are a bunch of shaders so let's just try the very first one and it takes a little while to load there's a little bit of a delay but you know it's just doing its thing great so now it seems to have loaded and if i go back to the game by pressing f1 there we go and that's an example of one of the cyber lab shaders i'll zoom in for you and you can uh, judge the quality for yourself there are a number of shaders in this pack, so please do try them all out. And I'm very confident that you'll find one that you'll fall in love with. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do consider subscribing to the channel. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.